Hey you guys, uh, Lacey and Steve from Duo Reacts. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you. Today is my birthday, so a lot of you um, uh, will get to see this a little bit later today yet. Uh, Lacey will be working to get that up. So anyway, I uh, slept in a little bit late this morning, and then I uh, got up and I had wonderful comments on Discord. I want to say thank you for all the, the happy birthday cheer you sent me absolutely uh, made my day and Lacey as well uh, made my day as well so um, with that being said I want to thank you all very much and in particular Eileen had sent an email uh, describing uh, Elaine I sent an email um, that really touched my heart a little bit and um, kind of you know uh, made me realize that you know it's just more than just you know a reaction channel uh, on discord it's a little bit more uh, deeper and a lot more um, a lot of good friends there so with Eileen she had a, a wonderful backstory um, it was sad but yet it was you know it was uplifting at the same time uh, yeah yeah, yeah. It, it was more so a, a story about you know needing something to help get her through a tough time right right and you know our channel and like just how we are in general you know positivity and kindness and all about you know i mean we're goofy too sometimes you know just i think we make people laugh sometimes and um, well it really it really made my day so I, yeah. I i need to get that out there i'm not really good at putting words together i had it all put together in my head <laughs> but and when, when it comes down yeah. right to it um things there, get jumbled yeah there's so sometimes. much i can say to that email but uh, I do like hearing from you, uh, from everybody. From all of you guys. So um, it's very wonderful to to get stuff like that and um, hear how you came across our channel and, you know, maybe how little things that we all do in life uh, impact each other. Because yeah. I don't think it's it's just that you come across our channel on, on YouTube that, that really creates the bond. You know, either it, it happens or maybe it doesn't. You know, some people you just really... Um, well, you like click with, you know, you mesh well as far as getting, and I mean, me and you, we've never really had an issue with getting along with people. Like we're both, no. we're both very, no. you know, we're, we're easy to get along with. We're easy going. We get along with, you know, pretty much anybody unless you're just like, bleh, you know, unless you're like, <laughs> unless right. you're like Philip, right? So, <laughs> um, but we do like to spread the kindness and spread the positivity and, you know, it that email that we got today, well, actually, we got it yesterday, but we hadn't had a chance to read it until today. And I wanted to kind of read it And today. being that it's Steve's birthday today, you know, being with the positivity and everything, I thought it would be nice to read that kind of thing to him today. And we like to spread that positivity, and today kind of solidified to us that it's we're more. succeeding a little, at least in some ways, a little bit in that goal. Well, I, guess. I think that's what we always wanted to share it too. Is you know not just the the reaction of the shows that we watch or the movies we watch, but um, also it's it's amazing to build these friendships. You know, did I think when we started this that we would become friends with anybody or? Um, Anything. Anyone, anyone would see anything in us that would, you know, reflect anything positive, you know, because I always knew inside, you know, that um, we have a very huge heart. And I truly believe that in life, you know, you have to give yourself a little bit. And I think it's in our human nature to do that. A lot of people have been scorned or wrong, and it's okay as long as you're yourself and you're true to who you really are, right. I don't think you ever go wrong. So, in, in, with that Well, being, I mean, unless true to who you really are is like a psychopath and like a serial That's not killer. what I'm talking but about. But what, yeah, what we're talking about is, you know, be true to yourself, live your, live your truth, spread kindness and you you're know? gonna and you're gonna get hurt in life i mean it's, Every, it's everybody does you're, you're gonna yeah. reach out you're gonna help somebody and it's gonna hurt you it's gonna slap you in the face like like nothing else but don't stop there because honestly uh 
we need more people like that in this world. Even if it means something, it might have helped someone get past a moment in life. Um, but you gave them hope, and yeah. you gave them that that love. And you know what? So what? They didn't see it that way, or maybe they, you know, keep true to who you are. And I believe everyone will be successful in life. So that's my Steveism for today. Um, yeah, and Aline, I had sent you um, a response back in that email, basically saying. And part of what I want to share with you guys is that, you know, after our son passed away in 2008, you know, we went through a really tough time too. Like it took us a very long time to come back from that. But after we finally did come back from that, I think I know me personally, and I know Steve might feel the same way, but I kind of wanted to live my life a little bit more positively after that and not just live my life but also try to spread that positivity spread that you know kindness small kindness is kindnesses mean a lot so even if like you're just walking down the street and you wave at somebody you know like that wave might mean more to that person than you even know like because you don't know what that person's going through that's right so even just a you know a hi or hello like or i mean any I, any small kindness goes a long way and I, and I think in this world we don't we take for granted the moments that maybe because it's so busy now yeah you know everything's about ordering online uh getting things quick and this and that yeah. you know speed yeah it's speed yeah. it's yeah. it's you know how can we get this out quicker how can we do this fact you know and i think that's okay on some levels but then on other levels like social you know um yeah basically social levels like important life levels like sometimes it's okay to like take a step back and slow down a little bit and be like you know don't judge people before you know them you know simple things that people forget to do you know don't listen to rumors don't gossip don't you know believe what you see not, and what, not, you hear, not what you hear you know and, and take if you every learn. person as an individual mm -hmm. not you know don't clump them in with some other thing you know just judge people based on their character not their skin color not their race not their right. sexual orientation you know every person is a person every human being is it means something so absolutely and that's Ab just what, absolutely amen yeah. and you know if you go through life with preconceived notions about anybody well then you need to really do some self about you know you may have had one bad experience um but your next 10 might be beautiful. So open your eyes, open your ears, believe what you see and not what you hear. And I think that's the biggest life lesson that we can all learn. Um, and I told uh, Elaine that, um, you know, she had went through a lot of issues and I told her to reach out to her mom, tell her you love her, mm -hmm. um, take a moment to tell her that I said hi and I love her as well because, uh, her, she had lost her father, and she was very close. But you can tell just by the person she is and what she exudes um, through when she, her kindness. Yeah, when she cares and when she loves. Like, she, that's, she that's cares a hard. That's a yeah. representation. I don't care. That's a representation of, of her mother and father instilling the tools and the, the, the idealisms that she uses today, mm -hmm. that's a testimony to them. Yeah. And of course, Elaine, well, uh, yeah, accepting because, those. Because that is, you know, spreads down through the generations. You know, that's right. you kind of live life as your parents taught you or how you perceived your parents and or whatever parental figures you might have had or lack thereof like that's tends to be how you carry on through your generations and 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 when you see your children and they change that's called the teenage years that's gonna <laughs> freaking happen okay so understand that all this stuff that you're raising them with as young kids is gonna come back to them eventually eventually and those They'll tools go, are still there yeah. They just got lost during the teenage frantic years, okay? And I've sometimes early 20s, you know. It my, just depends. It's different for everybody, but... I'll use my son's hack. 
you know, yeah. very loving kid. Oh my God. And then all of a sudden teenage hits and he don't know where in the hell he's at. He doesn't understand what that, I mean, he does. It's like, I lost him. Guess what? He's back. Yep. And he's and, an incredible and... member of our family. He's met a wonderful woman that absolutely I adore and, and care about. Um, and she props him up. And yeah. I mean, how good is it to feel that I can be a dad, have a 21 year old son that has his head on his shoulders, that has a girl that wants the best for him. Yeah. I mean, that's like the parent, a parent's ultimate dream. You want that. Yeah. And for, you know and I mean? you know, a parent always likes to hear, uh, their son come back later in life after those teenage years when they were, you know, rotten, let's be honest about the situation and come back and say, you were right, dad. Yeah. Like, the lessons that you taught me, I didn't agree with them at the time, but and now man, I understand. And I wasn't, I wasn't perfect. I, I'm going to be honest. You know, those years, <laughs> I, is? you know, I, I threw darts at a dartboard blind and hoping something would hit and hoping, you know, mm -hmm. and I mean, I would get mad. I even put on acts sometimes like he would come in, you know, I remember my dad, you, you know, kind of doing the same thing. I took him into the garage one day and his grades were crap and I was sitting there all calm and then I threw a bar stool clean across the garage. I was like, look here, you, what in the, you know, just. Yeah, but it wasn't even because of uh, you, I, you weren't necessarily like losing your temper. It no. was, you were doing it on purpose to. Yes. Prove yes, a point. Yeah. And it was. put on a show, you know. But that, he remembered it. He remembered it. And I don't know if it worked or didn't work, but he remembers it. And. <laughs> But he's turned out to be all right. But I've never, ever, you know, uh, spanked my kid. I mean, I've always been able to use my voice to, you know, kind of get things across. I feel that this world is a wonderful thing. And I guess the whole point of all this is never give up, never lose hope. The things that you do teach them positive does come back. It does. Okay. And never give up on each other. Yeah. You know, whether they're going through drugs, uh, emotional problems, or psychological issues, stick by them. And I don't you know, think this applies to just, like, kids. I think this applies to... Everybody. Everybody. So, you know, for those of you who either don't have kids or are younger viewers who have not had the chance to have kids yet or not even thought about it, this kind of applies to everybody in your life. Like, don't... Don't just, don't ever give up on anybody, you know, like some people, like I can attest, some people need to be given up on. Some yeah. people, like yeah. again, There's case people, by case, person by person. You have to you use know. your common sense. Yeah. And, you know, like she said, give everyone that shot, get everyone that chance. But if you have a bad feeling, listen to that, that voice of reason on your shoulder Okay, it's time for me. Watch if, those if it red says, flags, yeah, the know? red flags yeah. will tell you, and the little voice inside your head will say, "This isn't right." Something's Pull back. not right. Yeah. yeah, and then you know we're not. Again, we're not saying give up entirely if you're not a hundred percent sure, but you kind of know what we're what we're talking about. You kind of know yourself, and uh, right. that's how we are. Like, I guess the main point is. So sorry, but this is our. Laceyism and Steveism for the day. For the day, it's yeah. my birthday, so we want to share what works for us. And Lacey, going back to, and she's going to finish what she was saying. I'm so sorry about that. But when we went through Carter passing away, it sent us down a road that we could have done one or two things. We could have let life take us under, and we could have succumbed to that, or we had to step up and become parents. And learn to live life positive. But it took a lot of healing time. And so what I'm saying yeah. to you, when you lose someone, whether it be a child, a mother, a father, a brother, a friend, Anybody. Uh, a, a husband, a wife. Anybody um, where it significantly affects you in some way. One step yeah. at a time. Don't feel bad to feel bad for yourself. Take that time. Emotionally come to grips with it. And then that day is going to come where you step up and go, look. I'm stronger today because I... I got through it. I, I yeah. Yep. I got through it. I lived, didn't feel good, and it felt absolutely horrible, mm -hmm. but I took one step 
one day and the at next a time. step. Yep. And then when I couldn't step anymore, I took one more step. Yep. And God dang it, that was a step I needed to to continue with my life. And it seems like it's going to take so long to heal, but by God, you'll get there. And with love and friendship, and I think you can find it on uh, Discord as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have amazing people, and they know it. I mean, I could go down the list of everybody, but you know who you are. I say it every day, and I'm meeting new people all the time, and everybody is just melding in to to the theory of it's it's about love, it's about caring, it's about kindness, kindness, and you know what? You can Not be, judging people. You can be in uh, Oregon, and totally get along with someone in South Carolina yep. and you guys are in the, you know, there's nothing different here. We're all a part of the one race, the human race. And I've talked too much. I'm sorry, but this, like I said, it's my birthday. It's my, Steve, talk. It's, it's, my birthday. it's my Steveism and Laceyism <laughs> and my advice to you because I love you and I care about each and every one of you. And mm -hmm. I hope that amazing always happens to you. And that's why I say it at every show. Um, because yeah, I do. he truly means it. We both truly mean it. We want amazing to happen to each and every single one of you. Absolutely. Every single day. You know, you know, if, you know, I pray that, you know, every, every person that has, because it's, these steps are hard, you know, life steps are hard and we're all, the thing about it is we're all going to have to take them. It's just a matter of when, and we're all here. We should be here for each other to help. And I so. think this world, and going back to my original point, um, was I think this world would be a much better place to live in if we all, instead of living life like we all normally do every day, you know, ignoring everybody around us that we don't like or care about or, you know, spread the love, spread the kindness, don't judge people, you know, like... This person is a, you know, is a political party that I don't agree with or that I don't like. Uh, I don't care. You know, you're whatever, you're blah, blah, blah. Good for you. I'm, you know, like, I don't care. I don't care what, you, what your values are as long as they don't compromise my values we should all live life happily and joyful I'm glad, and, I'm glad you hit on that yeah because you know political uh there's a couple things that political religious I mean, views religious yeah there's a bunch of different topics that can definitely spread people apart and divide people but but can I tell you something we're all not just you know I you know I'm gonna tell you what my public I don't know because I'm gonna vote what my conscience is I'm going to vote I'm not going to pledge that I am this or this right. because this could be evil and this could be evil. Well, I'm going to vote with who a, I feel. I think there should be like a happy medium, you know, where we can kind of agree with certain points on both sides and Absolutely. not have to not have to declare I'm this or I'm that. And the same with religion in some sense of the word. You know, I think a lot of religions have good, you know, pieces to them that why can't you just you know, like, it, that's just how I feel about it, but I don't judge other people based on If there's a time in the like. history of histories, right now is the time to embrace everybody's ideas, yep. okay? We have so many different causes out there and so many wonderful things that it's never been done. It's never been done, okay? You know, women can vote. That was a, not a thing. There was slavery. That's no longer a thing. You know, uh, blacks would have to sit. I mean, th th it's changed. This is the time. It's changed, but it's not changed. It's, if it's, that makes any sense. But it's the time to take an, a hold and embrace it. Because so, for so long, we've sat here and held on to these ideas. And it's time to honestly unify. Yeah. Respect really, each other. Respect uh, each other. And... You know, if you're a Democrat and I'm a Republican or vice versa, because I just told you I'm not either, either or. Yeah, either I'm not or. gonna I'm not gonna play that game. I truly believe in you and what is best for our kids, what you know, what is what I feel will project better uh, for the people. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, cause I want everybody to live a happy life and I and I'm gonna vote my conscience, not 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 because I'm 
Oh my God. I'm waving this flag. Yeah, like, I'm not going to do that. Like, yeah, we don't wa wave any flag. Like, we just take each person, each candidate, each each person, regardless of whatever, for their merits. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, what, what have they done? And where have they come from? Where, you know, what is your experience? You know, there's probably, I would say there's probably better... Uh, Political figures probably sitting right in our Discord room. That probably. Would, probably would be. But it's it's hard to change a world where the people aren't willing to change how they think Bingo. and how they treat other people. Like, you know, I wish for a world where black people don't have to fear getting pulled over. Yeah. No, no I agree. Because they're getting shot. You know, like... Why? Why is that happening? And why? And why is it ten times more, you know, uh, prevalent that a black person would get pulled over? Yeah, than, exactly. Than, than a, you know, and, and, and they have to fear for their and, lives. And do you think that what, I think if I make a wrong move or if I say the wrong thing, it's not right? Yeah, it's when I get pulled over, right. which I was yesterday, I I don't fear for my life. But again, I don't pretend to know what any sort of race or religion or sexual orientation is going through i just i'm going to show you kindness and i'm going to show you that i care regardless of any of any of the above and i think one more thing i want to staple into this mm -hmm. is we can sit here and talk all we want about it okay and we can make people understand that you know this is how we feel this is how we feel but i'll never know what it's like because I'm not you. Yep. But I can feel and I I can I I can from my heart tell you that I know that we need to do a better job. Yeah, all of us. All of us about loving each other whether you're uh, you know whether you're lesbian, whether you're gay, whether, whether you're, you're straight, whether yep. you're whether you're black, whether you're, whether trans, you're white, whether you're doesn't matter. None Republican, of Democrat, yeah. uh, all if of you're, the above. If you're, <laughs> let's just put it that way. All of the above. If your religious values is different, it's all the same to me. You yep. still are a human being to me, and we still put on our pants the same way, put on our shoes the same way, and we still have feelings the same way. Now, so, if you're a serial killer and like you kill like innocent people, well, then you're out. You might not be in my club. I'm not going to be mean to you. Right? Like, I'm going to try to stay as far away from you as possible. But you get our general point. Like, just spread the love, you guys. Yes. Spread the kindness. Spread the love. And if everybody in the if everybody did that, this world would be a much better place. So starting today, take that moment, okay, to reset your own values. If I can ask, you know, if I can just do it on a lower level. Take that time to refocus these values, and and you know what? It's the right thing. Okay, yeah. it's it's what we need to do to be a better people. So come on over to Discord. <laughs> all these chats are wonderful. Yeah, um, we do these all the time in there, and people have great opinions in there. A um, lot of love, and it's every race. It, you know, it's, we, it's, it's it doesn't it, matter. It's a, it's a, it's yeah. a, it's a melting pot of, of everybody and mm -hmm. it's a wonderful thing. And I love it. I love yep. it. And thank you so much for the happy birthday, uh, wishes. To all of you guys. And we, uh, we did get a gift or actually Steve got a gift, yep. a birthday gift from Anthony. And it is a, right here. I didn't want to move it, but a Carol pop doll thing. I love it. Pop it's a bobblehead figurine it's basically a bobblehead um but yes steve got this he loves it i love it i love carol i love thank you so much anthony um i just wanted to share the love with you guys sorry it was so long <laughs> i hope you enjoyed it i hope to god you guys have an amazing year ahead that i'm gonna have because i'm gonna live this life just the way we are right now and we're gonna continue to spread the positivity and have these talks so if you're not used to, you know, just being being a kind person, let's just put it that way, like, um, just do one thing per day, you know what I mean? Like, tomorrow, just keep it in your head, do, I'm going to do 
one kind thing, even if that's just saying hello like. to somebody I never say hello to or waving at somebody or one tiny little thing. And then the next day, actively, I'm going to do one more thing. And then you'll be surprised if you do that every day and you're thinking about it every day. What goes on in here mm -hmm. in your brain when you start doing stuff like that activates these wonderful feelings inside you. Now, they may not say a word and you yeah. may walk away that, you know, you may open the door and say, um, and they know, might but, be a complete asshole yeah. about it for all you. That doesn't matter because but you, did your you job. can't control their response. You know, you can't control other people. All you can control is yourself. But remember when all I right. said, when you take that one step and that next step and you can't take any more steps. Push yourself. Take the next take step. Take the next step. And then it's and it becomes easy. It becomes like second nature after that. Like once you get used to doing something, it's just who you are then. So, but yep. It works. It really works. And I'm so happy to have shared this with you and this moment in time. Um, I hope that even if it changes one person for one moment, reach out to your family. Reach out to people that maybe weren't expecting a phone call from you. You yeah, know, make that step. Hi. Even yeah. if it's even if they've wronged you or whatever, maybe it's time to forgive. Maybe, maybe forgive and forget. Forgive and forget. Yeah. But you know what? If if someone has wronged you, you know, always keep that uh, a little bit of you know. But you know oh, what? Make yeah. that make that step towards. Pull me once, shame on you. Pull me twice. That whole jazz. But yeah, it, depending on what the circumstances are. Okay, let let's just say that. But it, it is good if there's just a beef. That maybe can be, you know, where yeah, prides well, are prides are up here, yeah. where you can say, you know what, is this worth it? Because you know, if if, that, and if, that's the question. if this if this person yeah. passed tomorrow, how's it going to affect you? Knowing that you that you left it that yeah. way, and it might not affect. It might not. It might not affect either one of you in the slightest because you don't like each other, but. My whole my question that I ask in any in a lot of situations, like whether it be an argument that you know, let's say me and Steve are having an argument. Is, I win. Is this is this argument worth it? Is it worth it to be even? Is this worth it in the end? Is this going to help anything? Is this going to change anything? Like, and I know I've said it to him many times. Like, I see that you're mad right now. Is it worth it? And then I'll What's just I'll I'll just leave him alone for a while and let him kind of think on it, and then he'll come back later and be fine and be like, "Yeah, here it's it's not worth it. That was not worth it." Even as much as I pray or you know praise myself on being able to lower the the walls, I still go back to it at times where I raise the walls. <laughs> And I won't let that at pride. Times, I, yeah, at times. and it sucks because I preach it so much that I think I preach it to tell myself that I need to keep those down and that communication open and understanding of her feelings to my feelings and listening. And, and you know, but we still do it. But I catch myself before it's too late. Well, I and think I any any healthy relationship or marriage or whatever has bickering and arguments as it's how you get through those yeah that's going to determine but re, but everything. remember it's not it's not because you don't love each other honestly a lot of it goes back to your colliding one idealism from a family with another one and when you smash those two together there's going to be there's friction. Gonna, yeah there's going to be arguments and, and there's going to be I'm not going to understand completely how she was raised to how yeah. I was. But once we open those doors and we understand that and we communicate that, that's where the the knowledge comes and right. the ability to deal with each other really comes into play. So love you guys so much. Um, We've we're, talked your ear yeah. off enough for this episode. So thank you so much for yes. watching it with us. And uh, make sure that you put a like on this video. Make sure you leave your comments and questions down below. Stephen Lysing. <laughs> what? Make sure you subscribe if you're not already. And share the video. And bang that I bell. knew she was going to do it. And we hope that you guys have an amazing and awesome day. Yes. Hope amazing happens to you. Peace out.